Hi everybody and welcome to another one of my beer reviews. I'm a little white today, did a lot of cleaning and chores, so I'm probably gonna try and keep this short. Today, as promised, I'm gonna be reviewing Fuller's eighteen forty five. I usually really like Fuller's, or at least what I've had them so far, so I don't know much about this one. Uh it says bottle conditioned AO matured to perfection for one hundred days. Alcohol six point three percent. It's essentially an English strong ale or an English bitter. Uh, I've let it warm up a little bit, not much. My understanding is it's supposed to be chilled, but not freezingly cold. So let's see here. Uh, today I'm just going to be using my Bushmills little kind of cocktail slash glass. I don't know what to call it, but uh, good for tastings. Got a lot of smoke coming to that bottle. Well, as you can see, there's not much to the head, but that's probably due to the way I poured slash the glass I'm using tonight. Uh, sorry, folks, this is the cleanest glass I have at the moment. Again, very good for tastings, at least. A uh, very, very dark. When I hold it up to the light, I'd have to say amber, but just when I bring it back down here, it almost looks like a ruby red. Uh, hmm, very pleasant floral smell. I think I get caramel. I'm getting kind of a fruit smell, I think. I can't quite place the fruit. Nothing specific on the fruit at all here. Hmm. Not an unpleasant smell at all. I think I quite like that. Well, here we go, folks. That is very good. It's very smooth to go down. Um, I'm hit with initial carbonation. I, I always, almost always notice when a beer is heavily carbonated, I almost always notice that right off the bat. Uh, just another drink here. There's some bitterness, but again, when I smelled the caramel, I think the caramel's coming through here. And if it is caramel, I'm not sure, but if it is, I'm definitely getting that balanced out with the bitterness and then the sweetness. Very malty, very, very malty, grainy type almost. Not quite, but I can definitely detect like a grainy quality to it. So, And then the finish is actually pretty good. A little dry on the finish, which... I'm actually a little disappointed by I really would prefer if it was not so dry, so... Pretty good. Again, this has been warmed up a little bit, so I'd have to say it's pretty good. Uh, I think I'd like mine a bit colder, but then I don't think I'd be picking up on the flavor as much in this case. Um, not much else to tell you guys. Fuller's makes a whole bunch of other lines of beers, very good ones. Uh, their London Porter is awesome. So, I never had this one, so it's an English strong ale. I can see why it was award winning. Um, as to a score, guys, it's a little tough. I'm usually not a fan. I said before, I'm not a fan of IPAs. I'm only just starting to get into bitters a little bit. The reason I dislike a lot of bitters is because they're bitter. <laughs> And again, folks, my selection is a bit limited, so feel free to recommend, but I can't guarantee I can get anything. So, but I think I actually do like this quite a bit. Definitely above your average beer, very flavorful, very good. Downsides are, I think, the fact that it has that dry finish, which I dislike. And I think the only other downside really might just be it's probably going to be a bit too bitter for most. I think there's a beautiful balance, but I think it might be a bit too bitter for most people. So, I still like this beer. I would pick this up again and drink this again. And I think it's definitely an above average beer. So, Fuller's 1845, folks. 
I am giving this a score of 7 out of 10. Excellent beer. I recommend you pick it up. Cheers, folks.